Hi, this is Chase, and in this video, I had a question from someone that was um, actually able to dial in, they said, uh, to Google Voice calling outside of the U.S., which is uh, a little bit unusual, but uh, whatever the case. Uh, in this today, in today's video, I'm just going to go through setting, setting up a number with Google Voice. So if you just type in voice.google.com, it'll go to uh, Google Voice. Okay, now... It's asking me to sign in. I have a couple accounts. I'm going to pick an account that hasn't ever gotten a um, Google Voice number on it. So let me go ahead and log in. Okay. So here's what it's saying. It says Google, Google Voice is only available in the U.S. So if you're able to access it, it might be because maybe you started a U.S. account or an account in the U.S., and maybe you're traveling abroad. I don't know. Um, and you'll be able, you'll be required to verify an existing U.S. phone number to get a Google Voice number. Now I already have a Google Voice number, so I'll go through this. But um, if if it requires me to change my number, I, I won't be able to do that. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Accept for the Terms and Privacy Policy and proceed. Okay, so um, here is where the setup is. Um, you can choose a brand new number from Google or use your existing mobile number to get the full set of voice features like one number that rings all your phones. That's really handy and I use that quite a bit. Um, online voicemail with transcriptions sent to you by email or text and custom greetings and call blocking. I actually have a, a business, and so uh, as an online uh, way to check my voicemail and stuff like that, you can set up your Google Voice number, and it doesn't have to ring your home number at all. Okay, so you could set it up just to be a, a number that you check online. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna click on, I want a new number, and uh, says, before choosing a Google, Google number, please add a forwarding phone that will ring when the number is called. Um, I'm going to try actually a number that might work. Okay. I'll click continue. They're going to call that number. And I'll say, call me now. Okay, it did work. Okay, entered in that number, and there we go. So uh, now we can put in area code, okay, and let's just, uh, and you could also do a word or the end of a number or something like that for the last four digits, but let's just search numbers. Now I've done this before, and it appears that well, for whatever case, there is no 970, and I had to spend some time um, looking around uh, and pausing this, which I may have to do here. So uh, let me try, well, I'm going to have to pause it. Okay, I'm back and I have a list of area codes off screen that I'll try. So let's do a search. Okay, none in there. I don't know why there's uh, so few numbers left. Okay, no in 262. Uh, so it could be hard to get uh, a phone number in your area. Uh, let me try something here. We're getting to ten, some different area codes. Just, and I'm having a hard time. So, uh, I'm just trying all these area codes. Let me just pause it one more time and I'll, I'll find one. Okay, so I'm back and it took a long time to find I got one number in the area code uh, 815, which is uh, Illinois. So um, I'll just go ahead and just because the process of this video is showing you how to do it, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'll go and click continue. There was an error. Okay. So uh, that's a process. It should be, if you can get to this screen, it looks like it is really getting hard to find area codes that have the that will work and I'm just kind of doing random stuff here I'm not even sure if these are actual numbers 
but uh, it really took a long time and uh, I wasn't having much success. So um, anyway, if you have any ideas, uh, put some comments in down below in this video. But that's how I've gotten my Google Voice in the past. So hope this works for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck. Take care.